Hey everybody, my name is Gina Bianca and welcome to Extend. Today I'm here to share with you how to elevate your business with extensions. First off, I wanna thank you for spending your time with me today. I know that time is the biggest unrenewable resource and I am so grateful and don't take it for granted that you're spending your valued time with me. I know that you're gonna love this presentation. I know it's gonna fire you up and get you excited and I just can't wait to share with you my story, what's worked for me with extensions and how to grow your business. First of all, let me share with you who I am. My name is Gina Bianca. I'm a hair and business educator. I'm a salon owner at the Network Salon. I'm a life and business coach. I'm an industry mentor, a stylist, podcast host, dog mom, all of the things. My mission is to elevate the beauty industry. And what that means to me is helping elevate stylists into a new tax bracket. My mission is to take hair stylists from tradespeople to professional service providers. And I achieve that mission every day by authentically sharing my story, sharing all of my secrets and helping stylists grow. So let's talk about my experience with extensions. Why am I qualified to share this information with you today? First of all, I've been doing extensions for over a decade. I got certified in extensions when I was in beauty school and then got certified multiple times throughout my career. And I built a successful seven figure salon with extensions as one of the main revenue streams. Not only did I build a seven figure business, money is important, but I also built a loyal clientele and a stellar reputation for extensions. Today, I'm gonna share with you a lot of ways that I did that. Also, not for anything, I've been wearing extensions forever and I love them. So that's why I believe I'm totally qualified. Not only do I live and love extensions, I helped build a beautiful business, help my stylist build a beautiful clientele and built an amazing, reputation. So I just can't wait to share with you how I did it and how you, anybody can do this as well. Today, I'm going to teach you how to launch and grow your extensions business. Whether you're brand new at extensions and thinking about taking on these services, or whether you're an experienced stylist who's been doing extensions for a while, I know you're going to find value in this presentation. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna be sharing my top amazing tips and tricks for you. So make sure, pause this video, grab a pen and paper, get a notebook and take notes. And don't be afraid to watch this video a million times because you're gonna learn something new every time you watch. First, we're gonna talk about the power and the magic of hair extensions. Why even do them? Because there's a huge reason they make an amazing impact. I'm gonna share with you why even do them. Next, we're gonna share with you Business 101. I'm gonna give you a very brief business course on how to quickly grow your business using the three ways to grow. It is simple, it is not rocket science, and if you focus on these three areas, you are gonna grow your business without even trying that hard. I'm gonna teach you dozens, not one, two, or three, dozens of ways to grow your extensions business. I'm also gonna share with you 15 ways to mindfully reward your guests who are nurturing these ways that grow our business. Finally, I'm gonna teach you five solid ways to start building your extensions empire today. All right, let's grow. Before we begin, I just wanna share with you guys, I love the technical side of the beauty industry. I was a successful stylist for many, many years. However, my passion and purpose that I believe I bring to the world is the business side of extensions. It is my wheelhouse. And I am so excited that I get to share with you not only all of the amazing benefits of extensions, but how to grow your business. I truly believe that what sets me apart from other educators and other people in the industry is my authentic experience in marketing, management, growing this extensions business. And I love to share with you guys my authentic story on how I did it. I can't wait to share it all with you, so let's get started and let's begin. First off, let's share with you guys the magic and power of hair extensions. So why do these services? Why bring them into the salon? Why take the extra time getting certified? Why take the extra time learning all of these services? The big thing is, is that extensions can grow your business like never before. My salon went from earning less than 500,000 a year to a seven figure business when we added extensions and started taking the services seriously. 
You're also gonna grow a clientele of guests who are addicted to professional services. They can't just go do their extensions themselves. They're gonna need you for these services, which really improves the job security and the certainty of your business. You're gonna make an incredible impact on your guest's life. My favorite feeling is having the guest see the finished look in such a short amount of time, mind you, but see the finished look and then look at themselves completely different and improve their confidence and how they feel about themselves. For me, I feel like I'm a completely different person with or without my extensions. They just help me feel and look my absolute best. Extensions are a luxury service. You're gonna be getting luxury clients, a luxury income and living a luxury luxury life if that's what you want. The ticket price is so much higher, the clientele is higher end, and you're really going to see a change in your business. Finally, you're going to have the power to end suffering for so many people. Suffering is a serious thing, and many people are suffering not having the hair that they want. I know it sounds silly because it's just hair, but suffering comes from the idea of loss, less and never. So if you hear your guest say, I've lost hair, I have less hair than he or she, I'll never have the hair that I want. These statements that include loss, less or never, these are people who are suffering. And if you have the solution to end suffering for people, it is way more than just I do hair. Basically, hairstylists who do extensions have the power to end suffering and solve problems that are making people suffer. I really hope you think about that when you are deciding if you wanna do this. You will have the power to solve these problems and you will have the services that your guests need and want. Okay, so now that I shared with you guys the power and the magic of hair extensions, I wanna just give you a brief business 101 on the three ways to grow your business. This is something I teach all the time and I have a goal of helping stylists really understand these three things and start to focus on them because what you you focus on you move toward so if you focus on these three ways to grow there is no chance you will fail I mean failure is inevitable <laughs> in growth um, you know we always when we try new things there's a chance of failure so don't be afraid of messing up because I've messed up so many times but if you focus on these three ways to grow you're gonna grow your business so there are three ways to grow and they're the driving forces of pushing your business forward. The three ways are average ticket, frequency of visit, and new clients. These three things will push your business forward. So what is average ticket and how can we get that number? How can we calculate it? And how can we see where we are on the map now? Because if you don't know where you are, it's hard to grow from there. You don't know what direction to go if you don't know where you are. So it's really important to know these numbers. Average ticket, an easy way to get it, is to take your total revenue, service and retail, and then divide it by how many guests that you saw, how many purchases did you have. So if you made $1,000 and you had 10 customers, your average ticket would be $100. So moving on to frequency of visit or frequency of sale, you wanna look at how many times per year your guests are buying from you or visiting you. If you have an average frequency of visit or frequency of sale of three times per year and you elevate that to six times per year, you're gonna double your business. We have to think about how we can get our guests coming in and seeing us more often because that right there is going to drive your business forward. We can grow our business by focusing on the guests that we have. Moving on to the third driving factor for growth, new clients. I know that sometimes taking in new guests can be stressful but new clients are how we're gonna grow. If you're always taking new guests, that means you're always in demand. Your new guest request is a key indicator for demand. So how we get that number is on average, how many new guests visit us or inquire per month. Now that you know the three ways to grow, I want you to think about it and have a mindset of if we stop growing, we start dying. That's a quote from one of my mentors, Anthony Robbins. It is so important to think about if we stop growing, we start dying. So what are you doing to grow your business? I'm gonna share with you tons of ways to grow now. All right, let's get into it and talk about how to grow our extensions business. My motto in what I teach all the time for everything, not just extensions, hair color, 
salon ownership, booth rental salon, employee-based salon, everything. You have to make it crazy for them not to do business with you. This is my mindset with everything. And I just want to give you a little context on that statement because for me, I sell education classes. I have a membership program. I have a salon where I want booth renters. I have so many businesses and my mindset for growth is how can I make it crazy to not do business with me. And that means adding value to the point where nobody questions the price. If the value is there, nobody will question the price. So if you have that mindset of how can I make it crazy for them not to do business with me, you're gonna have a completely different business. And thinking of it in a sense of like, the questions that we ask really determine how we live our lives. So if I'm always asking, why me, why me? Or if I'm always asking, how can I get people to pay for this? Those questions are a negative scarcity mindset. You have to ask questions with an abundance mindset, like how can I make it crazy for them not to buy from me? How can I make it crazy for them not to book me? How can I make it crazy for them not to send their friends and family? How can I make it crazy for them not to buy this and this and come back and tell everybody about it? That mindset will give you a completely different business. So let's move into average sale. The way we have to think about it is we wanna make it crazy for them not to get extensions and we wanna make sure they know what we have to offer. And we wanna add value to all of those extension services or for the guests who are already receiving color or cutting services with us. If you're lucky enough to have a consistent clientele, start there by improving that average ticket and adding on extensions. So some ways we can make it crazy for them not to get their extensions done by us is telling them about chemical free color. This is a huge selling point. You can get color done instantly with no damage to the hair. I'm gonna say in quickly again because it's so much faster than sitting in a salon for a transformation and they can reuse the extensions if they want to. It's crazy not to get chemical free color and that's gonna improve your average ticket. Another thing that you can do to add value to your extension services and make it crazy for people not to get their extensions done by you is by adding value by including retail or by upselling the retail and educating them on what they need to keep this look going and to maintain their hair at home. So we can talk about chemical free color, we can upsell or even include retail. How much value is that if you include retail in the price? The next thing to think about is consistent communication and letting your guests know what you offer. They don't know what we offer until we share that information with them. So let's break these down even more. Let's talk about chemical free color. They don't know this is even an option. A lot of the times when you share this with your guest, they're like, wait, what, I can do that? I can get silver highlights without bleaching my hair to oblivion? They don't know this information. So a lot of the times when I have guests who come in and maybe the color that they want isn't achievable or it's gonna be wicked expensive, take a lot of time or be damaging, or maybe they have box dye in their hair and they wanna have that silver look. When I share with them there's another option and that option is extensions, they are so excited about it. When it comes to growing your average ticket with chemical free color, an amazing tip I wanna share with you is to have a small inventory of extensions and let your guests try them. When I was starting in my business, I got all of my guests addicted to extensions by putting a few of them in their hair and letting them go home with them and test drive them. By the time they came back, they were addicted and they couldn't wait to see what the options were. It's also important to have visuals in the salon. So if you can make an investment and have halos, some kind of swatches, something that you can show them what the colors will look like, set yourself up to win and have these visuals so your guests can see what their options are. Mention extensions to every single guest who might qualify for them. How I built my business, another key tip with extensions, as soon as I started offering them, I asked every guest this exact question. Have you ever thought about extensions? Look them right in the eye. Have you ever thought about extensions? You're an amazing candidate. And they're gonna be like, me? Like, yes. They're, I've never had someone say no because everybody has thought about extensions. It's also worthy to mention that when your guest comes in with an inspiration pick, you can take a picture of the hair that they have, hold it up to the inspiration pick and share with them, listen, we can get this goal if we do some extensions to even fill in the perimeter, to add the highlights that might not be realistic for their visit today. This is an amazing consultation tip that can open the door for a conversation about extensions. 
Another way you can grow your average ticket is by focusing on adding value with retail. Retail is so important, especially with extensions. They are a higher maintenance service and your guest needs to take home the products that are gonna maintain their hair and keep them looking perfect. The dialogue I like to use is, I have your hair for two hours, you have it for two months. Please take this home. Or I like to set up my phone on a little tripod or their phone, and I like to record their style and give them a little style lesson and just really give an emphasis on retail and their at-home maintenance. You can also include retail in the service ticket. You don't always have to be giving things away for free. I do recommend a goodie bag here and there, especially for new guests who are making this investment with extensions. I think it's really important to make sure they have everything that they need. And one way you can make it absolutely crazy not to do extensions with you is by including the products that they need. You have to do some math and figure out how to make it profitable for you. Everybody's business is different and you can really let your brand sing with this opportunity to include retail. Maybe you recommend a branded pillowcase or brushes or some kind of customized goodie for your guests and they're gonna be ranting and raving about you because I guarantee you they've never had that experience before and you can be the artist that has the elevated extensions business. It's super important to know the products you're recommending. You shouldn't have to look at the bottle and read it to tell them what it is. You should know these products like the back of your hand and share with your guests what they are, why they need them, how much to use, how often to use. And like I said, filming their style and sending them home set up to win is gonna set you way apart from the people who are just getting the services done. You have to make it crazy for them not to get extensions done by you. So when it comes to growing your average ticket, it's super important to have clear and concise communication of what it is that you have to offer. Our guests usually have no idea what we offer unless we tell them. I always recommend having beautiful virtual or printed service menus that really showcase what you have to offer. I like to include on those service menus extensions for volume, extensions for length, extensions for length and volume, chemical free color, and give them an idea of what it takes to do those services. So for example, on my menu, it might say, if you want chemical free color, you need one to two packs for chemical free color. Or if you want length and volume, you might need four to six packs or whatever it is that you recommend, depending on your brand, depending on your application and your expertise, letting your guests know what it takes to achieve those services and having it out in the open for them to look at, read, and even ask you about. One of my favorite quotes, and I quote it every single day almost, success is preparation meeting opportunity. We have the opportunity behind the chair with every guest that we speak to, to be successful. And what is successful to you? Maybe your goal is to start doing extensions full time. You have that opportunity with every single guest that you meet by showing them what you have to offer and making it crazy for them not to get extensions with you. So moving on to frequency of visit or frequency of sale. I wanna share with you the number one way to grow your business. This is like gas in the tank for growing your business and for job security. Pre-booking your appointments is going to take you from here to here when it comes to your productivity, when it comes to your you know, referrals, everything. When you can get your guests in the door and guarantee that appointment, even before you start their services, it's gonna change your life. One of the biggest tips and tricks I have with pre-book is before I start their service, whether it's color, extensions, whatever, I always share with them what it takes to maintain that appointment. So I will say, okay, Sally, this is gonna require eight week maintenance. Let me make sure you get the day and time that you want. It's Tuesday at five. Do you like Tuesday at five? Yes or no? Yes, okay, perfect. I'm really busy on Tuesday nights. Let me get you booked out for that Tuesday appointment. And that is just part of the luxury experience and really putting their needs first. Another great pre-book tip is to have a visual somewhere in the salon. It could be on your station, it could be on your front desk, wherever to show your guest what the date is, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks out, so that they can have that visual and it shows that you take pre-book seriously. Again, you wanna make sure that they understand the maintenance, 
one of the worst things we can do as stylists is give them sticker shock or set them up to fail by not knowing what it actually takes to maintain extensions. You want to have the heart of a teacher and set them up to win so they leave feeling empowered. The opposite of empowered is dependent. You don't want them to be depending on you. So you have to bring all that you have to that service, set them up to win, and make sure they know the journey ahead. If you do this and you set them up with their pre-book and they become loyal clients, you will have a client for life. I also recommend to close out your books 90 days out. That way it gives you some flexibility. If you're gonna do a price increase, if you need a schedule change, you're not gridlocked out past 90 days. I don't recommend booking a whole year. I don't recommend booking out like 20 appointments. I really recommend having a boundary with your schedule, whether that be 90, 120 days, whatever works for you. But you can have a VIP program where they get priority booking when your books open up, or you can go appointment by appointment with their pre-book. I know some people are afraid of pre-booking because they don't wanna get gridlocked, but that is one solution to just have a boundary around your schedule to prevent that gridlock. Another way to grow your frequency of visit is by having membership and rewards programs. So in my salon, we had a blow dry membership and this got our guests coming in every single month. Even if you have a small subscription program like a blow dry membership that gets them in the door more frequently, that's gonna open the door for retail, more services, and having that frequency of purchase, whether it's a subscription every month or having them in, more often, these small things add up. They are like the compound interest of your business. Subscription services can be completely customized. You can do a wash treatment, blow dry style, or you can do a full extensions maintenance, maybe for four times a year. If you sit down, look at your brand, look at your business, look at what you wish every single client did and create a top tier membership program, this will set you apart. It takes a little bit of time, but this is our business, this is our brand, we have to have time. We have to make the time, and if you're not passionate about it, you won't be successful with it. So get passionate about what you want your guests to experience and everything else will follow. Having a membership program is also gonna improve your productivity. Whether you're a solo stylist or salon owner, productivity is an outcome that happens no matter what. We're either busy or we're not. Having a subscription program is gonna help keep you and or your team busy, and that is how we're gonna drive ourselves to profitability. Like I shared before, having an elevated VIP experience that maybe only your top spenders or top visitors qualify for, this is gonna make it crazy not to do extensions with you and it's gonna improve that frequency of visit. You can be creative and you can customize this any which way. We had a few different memberships and they were all incredible. There was something for everybody. So even if a guest just wanted to get blowouts or maybe they wanted to do a rebond maintenance package or maybe they wanted to do a full on luxury experience and we only made that available to our top spend, this is gonna give you a luxury VIP experience and it's gonna continue to drive that frequency of visit and drive that growth. Another way to keep them engaged and to keep them coming back for more is for you to stay engaged and excited. If you are not excited about their hair, why would they be? The more excited and engaged you can be by taking a little bit of time to like, you know, take notes, build customer profiles, and really like know their hair like nobody else. If you were to do a 30% price increase today and tell your guests, I know your hair like nobody else and I'm reducing my clientele and I'm putting all of this focus into my current guests, I really want to make it crazy for you to not get your hair done. They would be like, okay, yes, yeah, sign me up. They're not going to question the price. Staying present and understanding and knowing your guest hair like nobody else will set you apart from everybody else. Plan their hair with the seasons and get excited for every appointment. Keep them excited about what's next to come and they will continue to come back for more. So now that we talked about frequency of visit, I wanna share with you one of my favorite quotes from one of my mentors, Brene Brown. Clear is kind, unclear is unkind. So many times our business is confusing and unclear and all we have to do is sit down and make it clear. Tell our guests what we have to offer. Make it crazy for them not to keep coming back for more. And it starts with having clear systems, clear communication, clear menus, clear pricing, all of these things. Does it take work? Yes, but all of this is gonna help you grow. 
So the third way to grow our business is by always taking new guests. When I see stylists say clientless clothes, I'm like, oh dear, if you're not growing, you're dying. I understand it's great to be in demand, but we should always be taking new clients. It really shows us that we are in demand and it helps drive our business forward. When it comes to new guests, you wanna make it crazy for them to not try you out. By focusing on the guests that we have, we will get new guests. If we provide an incredible guest experience that our existing guests rant and rave about, they will send us their friends and family just to prove they have friends and family. They will send us everybody if they trust that you will take care of them and if they believe in the service and experience that you have to offer. When it comes to new guests, you want to make it crazy for them not to try your business out. I always say that the best way to get new guests is to focus on the ones that we have by providing an incredible guest experience, having a rock star referral program, and to give them something to talk about. I always say to literally elevate that guest experience is to improve your marketing because your guests, if they're having an amazing experience, they're going to tell everybody. Next, I wanna to talk to you about your referral program. Anytime I ask stylists about their referral program, it's either a hell yes or it's a, ah, I have a card, sometimes I hand it out. You don't have a referral program unless you are living the referral program. And it's really important to make it crazy for your guests not to hand out these cards and for people not to redeem those cards. When it comes to referrals, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. You have to meaningfully ask your guests to send you their friends and family. I specifically use this dialogue when they go to hand me a gratuity. And I say, Sally, thank you so much, but the greatest tip you can give me is sending me your friends and family. And I promise you, I will take care of them and provide the same amazing guest experience that I provided you with today. I have never had someone put the tip back in their pocket. They will still leave you a gratuity but it is truly the greatest gift they can give you by trusting you with their friends and loved ones. Finally, when it comes to getting new guests, your content is your marketing. Okay, let's expand on all of these and I promise you will have new guests banging on the door wanting to get services done by you. Let's talk about elevating your guest experience. Number one, you want to make sure that you're giving your guests your undivided attention and presence. It is so important to be present during the service and not worried about a million things. I know that life gets crazy, but we have to leave it at the door and remember that we are servicing guests. They are our investors and they're investing their hard earned money and their time with us. We have to take that seriously. Next, you have to become a master of consultation. This is a skill you have to focus on. Focus on growing your communication skills and becoming better and better at delivering results by having a clear consultation. Remember to always educate your guests and make them leave feeling empowered and ready to maintain this hair all by themselves. They shouldn't leave with a million questions. By providing that incredible guest experience to your current guests, they're gonna be recommending you like crazy to all of their friends. One of your biggest opportunities for marketing is in the shampoo bowl. What you do in the shampoo bowl is your brand consistently amazing shampoo is going to set you apart from everybody. Finally, and this goes without saying, but we have to deliver results. Being able to give the guests what they're asking for, that is the number one skill we wanna hone in on. And that takes practice, commitment, and consistency. Let's break down referrals even more. I know I already went a little crazy on this, but I really wanna hone in on the fact that you have to meaningfully ask your guests. If you're afraid to ask your guests, more dialogue you can use is, hey Sally, I wanna let you know that I love doing your hair. You're one of my favorite guests. Everybody in the salon gets all jazzed up when they see you on the books. We could be having the worst day ever and we see your name, Sally, and we freak out, we're so excited. We love you so much. I wanna ask you, you know, I added some more hours to my schedule and I'm very particular about the guests that I take. I want all of my guests to be just like you. Can you please send me some friends who are just like you? She will be like, oh my God, thank you. If somebody said that to me, I would be shook. And you know what? We deserve, our guests deserve for us to treat them that way. 
you want to make asking for referrals so ingrained in your service experience that it's like putting on a cape or a robe. You wouldn't start the service without doing these things. So think about all of these things that are going to push your business forward, all of these growth behaviors. You want to make them so ingrained in your service experience that it just becomes a habit. One way to get new guests, and this is one of the ways that my salon thrived, we had a beautiful review program and we always made a big deal about reviews on Yelp, Google, and Facebook. I would always ask my guests to take selfies and tag me, and this is a great way to connect with them on Facebook or Instagram. I always ask them, take a selfie when your hair, when you're feeling your best and probably like right when they're leaving the salon, or even when you're taking pictures of their hair, kind of doing it in selfie mode so they can work the camera and they could feel a little bit more comfortable. If you set them up with a bunch of selfies when they leave, they are gonna post them and it's always amazing to expand your network with theirs if they tag you in the selfies. Going back 10 years ago, how I built my reputation was on Facebook when people tagged me in their hair photos and when they checked in to the salons I was working at, that was how I built my network and how more and more people found out about me. Finally, your content is your marketing. So many times people are like, well, how do I get new extensions business? How do I get new extensions clients? And they're asking the wrong question. Remember, the quality of our questions determines the quality of our life, okay? So if we're always asking how, 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 we need to be asking, what can I do to make it crazy for people not to try me out? That is the question that will give you the outcome. If you post on your social media all extensions, if you only post the services that you want, you will get those services. But if you post a little bit of everything, you're gonna have a clientele of a little bit of everything. So what can I do to make it crazy for people not to try me? I can show them that I'm the best in the area for extensions by posting clean, beautiful, consistent extensions work. It's important to put out clean content and some basic tips I'm gonna give you is to wipe your lens. That is one of the top tips with social media posting. Wipe your lens. Some of the harshest and hardest coaching for me is telling a stylist you need to improve your styling. Take extra time and style the hair, close the cuticle, finish the look, and then take pictures. I would not post a picture if it wasn't completely styled and perfect because then it's not worthy of my grid. It's not showing people that I'm the best. It's showing people that I'm checking off a box and throwing up a picture. You wanna make sure you're putting out that clean, beautiful content. So wipe your lens, take photos, make sure that you style the hair and you're strong at styling. If you're not strong at it, work harder at it and make sure you're obviously putting out that beautiful work and doing a great job. Another great social media tip is to have a clean, beautiful background. Don't post a picture if the whole salon and your messy station is in the background. Nobody is going to engage with that. They're just gonna swipe by. Give them something to talk about. Have a clean page and a clean look. It doesn't have to be cookie cutter, but take the extra time to set yourself up and your brand up to win. Post on your grid only what you want to be doing. It is so important to post what you want to do. If you don't want to be doing men's haircuts, don't post men's haircuts. Save it for your story or save it for your Facebook or save it for whatever, but your primary area where you market, like for me is Instagram, I would not post unless I wanted to do that service. It's awesome to engage your audience with promotions and giveaways and specials, but make sure you're only focusing on the services that you wanna do. So if you wanna be an extension specialist, don't do a promotion for a color cut and style do a promotion for extensions. Give them a reason to come try you out. Make it crazy for them to not come try you out. Do your best to stay consistent with the brands that you love. It's gonna not only build your relationship with these brands, but it's gonna build consistency, trust, and loyalty. Your guests will start to learn more about the products that you post the more loyal you stay with your products. Post consistently, market yourself consistently, and you will grow consistently. I'll say it again, and I say it every single day, probably like 10 times a day, the best way to get new guests is to focus on the ones that we have. If you are blessed to have a clientele, take the time to provide an exceptional guest experience and give them something to talk about. So let's talk about how to mindfully reward these behaviors that help grow our business. It is so important to reward these behaviors so that our guests continue doing them. So let's talk about average ticket. 
we have to reward our guests who spend a lot of money with us and let them know that we appreciate them. One way that we did this in my salon was we kept track of who our top 10 spenders were and we ran reports at the end of every year to really know who those guests were and we always rewarded them with a couple hundred dollars in rewards. It's also great to do rewards on the spot by having a gift with purchase if a guest spends over a certain amount or maybe they buy new hair, something like that to really drive those behaviors of, oh, if I spend this, I get this. For your guests who spend a lot of money with you, it's also a good idea to give them access to private sales and private events. For our top 10 spenders, we also gave them priority booking. So we always had a stylist available. And if we ever had one of our top spends call and need an appointment on the fly, we always had somebody available for them. And we really tried to make them a priority because they were spending a lot of money with us. You can always have one of those membership rewards programs, a top tier membership reward. And for guests who spend over a certain amount annually, say this to them, you qualify for platinum status. Think of Amex. Think of these credit card companies who are going in and giving giving priority platinum status. Think of the black card. You know, we want this status and people will spend money to get there. You just have to share with them what's in it for them. How we can mindfully reward our guests who visit us and buy from us very frequently is running that same report for guests who show up more often. So my software was helping me run these comprehensive reports and it's really good to have a software that helps you grow your business. So if you can't find these reports, make sure you have a software to set you up to win. So we would reward our customers who spent the most and who visited us the most. For your guests who visit you often, thinking of a different way to reward them would be like with swag. Maybe they love your place so much, they're there all the time, it's part of their lifestyle. If they come in very often, a great gift for them would be swag, like hoodies, hats, beanies, things like that, phone cases, something that's going to showcase your brand because they clearly love it if they're going to show up there all the time. Another behavior you want to reward is when they repurchase hair from you and when they're building their hair care wardrobe and their hair inventory. When they purchase a lot from you, it builds that loyalty and you want to reward those behaviors. Let's talk about a few ways we can reward not only guests who come in, a new guest, let's reward our clients who are sending us all of those new guests. One way you can reward existing guests is by always maintaining that amazing guest experience. Sometimes we think the first visit is the most important, but it's really the third, fourth, and fifth and beyond to show that we still appreciate our guests and that we'll still go above and beyond for them. The worst is when we get our hair done at a place for a certain amount of time and then they just take us for granted. They already have the color mixed when we walk in. They're not having that amazing new guest consultation. It's really important to treat them like you did in the beginning and there will be no end. Don't be afraid to try new things and reward them in different ways. As you get to know your guests, you're gonna learn more and more about them. Them. Maybe you know their favorite restaurant or maybe you know something about them that's personal. Don't be afraid to reward them in all different ways and never underestimate saying thank you often. I would tell my guests and I would always tell them looking them in the eye, it's super important to have that clear eye contact and to have that open communication. But I would say to my guests, like I would not be able to have this beautiful career if it weren't for you believing in me and you guys watching. I would not be able to have this beautiful career if you didn't watch, if you didn't believe in me. Saying thank you in all different ways, never underestimate the power of gratitude and by letting people know how grateful you are for them. Most importantly, take excellent, excellent care of all of the people they trust you with and all of the referrals they send you. Let's talk about how to reward our new guests. It's so amazing that they even took the time out of their day to try you out, that they broke free of their previous hairstyles and are trying something new. This is stressful. This is something that is a big deal. We have to treat it like one. First of all, you wanna make it crazy for them not to try you out. You can do this with hair specials. You could do this with install specials. Don't forget that new guests generally really cost between $75 to $100. To acquire a new guest has a cost, whether it's a discount or promotion that you're doing or whether it's the time you're spending marketing and promoting yourself or paying for advertisement. Every guest has a cost, so make sure that cost has a crazy value for them. If it costs you $75, make them feel like they're paying $300. You have to make it crazy for them not to try you. So to wrap up with rewarding your guests, it's so important to remember that customer retention is a business outcome. It's gonna happen whether you put time, effort, and energy into it or not. So we can either pay close attention to our guests coming back and raving about us, 
or we cannot put focus on it. And either way, we're gonna get that customer retention number. So remember, it's gonna happen no matter what. Why not focus on it? When it comes to relationships and retention, it is so important to know that if you treat them the way you did in the beginning of the relationship, there will be no end. Never stop appreciating and having gratitude for what you have and your retention will be on fire. So you guys have learned so much so far. We talked about how to grow your business. We talked about why do extensions. We talked about how to reward your guests. I'm sure you feel excited and charged up and inspired. Here are a few ways you can get started today. Number one, you gotta get certified. Number two, you have to start getting inspired. You have to surround yourself with people who will inspire you. Next, you need to find a mentor and get some support. You have to get busy and get some extensions in your life. You gotta start doing extensions every day. And more importantly, you have to enjoy the ride. Your story and your journey is unique to you and everything in this life is happening for you. One day you'll be able to share it with the whole world, but you have to start somewhere. Let's talk about getting certified. Today, it's easier than ever to get certified in hair extensions. You can get certified through Extend. They are so amazing and they will help you getting you started on building your hair extensions empire. It is so important to get certified because it's gonna give you the confidence and credibility that not only your clients, but you deserve to feel confident and certain about the services that you're offering. Getting certified with a brand is gonna help you get all of the tools, support, education, and knowledge that you need to get started. I highly recommend getting certified in all methods and it's really important to know them all because every method of extensions has its place in the industry. You may have a guest that comes in and they may want one method, but they may need a few more methods to make their look complete. It is so important that if you're gonna be a master of extensions that you know how to do all methods. You can specialize in one if you want to, but knowing them all is so critical and important. Don't be afraid to continue your education and to get certified multiple times. Every educator and every brand has something to offer. It is so important that you keep building your knowledge and your education around these services. You will learn something new from every single class that you take. Getting certified is also gonna lead you on the road to building credibility and building relationship with the brands that you love. Next, let's talk about getting inspired. I always say that you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most, and if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So if you have a new goal, a new vision, a new dream, you need a new mentor. You have to find somebody who has what you want and follow them. Put yourself in the room with them, coach with them, follow them, do their workshops, get in their communities, get into their world and follow them, study them. I have so many mentors and I would not be the woman I am today without my mentors. I found them, I honed in on them, I stalked them, I studied them. You know, it's so important to find mentors who are doing what you want to do. I recommend unfollowing anybody who makes you feel bad about yourself and who is not inspiring you and following 20 plus new accounts that are doing what you want to do. When you open your phone, you'll be inspired and constantly focusing on what you want to do. I also love the idea of changing the wallpaper on your desktop or phone so that every time you look at your phone, it says something that inspires you. And it's super important to spend at least 30 minutes a day immersed in what you want, whether you're reading, listening to a podcast, watching a video, practicing on a doll head, whatever it is. Take some time to immerse yourself in what you want to do, and you will be surprised how quickly you will get to your goals if you really focus. Remember, what you focus on, you move toward. So if you're always focusing on this dream and this goal, whatever that is for you, you're going to get there if you take action. So we talked about getting certified, we talked about getting inspired, and we talked about getting support. Let's talk about getting busy. It takes at least an hour a day for five years to become a master. If you focus on building your clientele of extensions and you do extensions for 15 hours a week, this is gonna help you become a master faster. It is so important to get busy with what you wanna do. If you're having a hard time building your clientele, don't give up. You can always do models, you can always practice on a doll head, but it's so important to start getting those clients into your chair and getting busy doing what you love to do and you will become a master. Finally, I wanna share with you that it's so important to enjoy the journey. I remember what it felt like to want everything I have right now. 
It is so important to take a minute and be grateful and to love yourself as far as you've come. Like think about when you wanted everything you have right now. Maybe you wanted to learn about extensions and now you feel like, okay, I have all of this info, but remember what it felt like to not know anything about extensions. When you look at yourself five years from now and you say, wow, look how far I've come, it is so important to just take those moments and appreciate your progress. It is progress and not perfection. You can do this and I hope you enjoy the ride. Don't rush the process, your time will come. So many people I know try to jump and focus on the business that they want and they're not focusing on the business that they have. Before you become a famous extensions educator, make sure you have something worth teaching. Master your craft. Don't rush the process, your time will come. Your journey is perfectly imperfect. There's gonna be some bumps along the way. There's gonna be some guests you have to redo. There's gonna be some challenges you have to overcome, but this is part of your journey and everything in life is happening for you. It is not happening to you. So remember to enjoy the journey and the process. Everything you learn on this journey, you're gonna be able to share later with the world. All right, let's review. We have learned so much today. I'm so grateful you stuck with me this whole time. And again, I'm so grateful for your time and attention. We discussed so much. We talked about the magic and the power of hair extensions. We talked about business 101, the three ways to grow your business, average ticket, frequency of visit, and new clients. We talked about how to grow your business by focusing on these three ways to grow. And we talked about how to mindfully reward our guests for doing these behaviors. It is so important to be mindful when it comes to rewarding these guests. And we also talked about how to get started. I hope you feel inspired. There is a compelling and beautiful future for you. So many stylists are doing what they love, making a beautiful income and having clients that they love to take care of. My question for you is this, why not you? When it comes to building this business, if you ever get down on yourself, think about it. Why not me? Why can't I have this and keep pushing forward? I hope that you love this presentation. I hope that you learned so much. I hope that you're inspired. I thank you so much for trusting me to share this information with you. I don't take it lightly and I will never take it for granted. I am so grateful for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you ever wanna get in touch with me, you can always follow me on Instagram at I am Gina Bianca. I would love to hear from you and I would love to know how you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing, incredible day and I can't wait to see how far you grow.